Israel's military has some of the most advanced air defense systems in the world, which includes the Iron Dome David Sling and Arrow systems. In the aftermath of Iran launching roughly 180 ballistic missiles at Israel at the beginning of October, the U.S. says it's stepping in to help bolster Israel's defenses with a TAD system and troops to operate it. Israel's Air Defense Systems This is the moment a salvo of Iranian-fired missiles descends on Israel. Around 180 ballistic missiles were launched, with Israel reporting that it intercepted many of them. However, some managed to pierce Israel's highly advanced air defense systems, like the one seen exploding near the Mossad headquarters and others striking the ground at an Israeli airbase. These attacks have raised concerns that another Iranian assault could cause major destruction. In response, the U.S. has announced that it will step in to bolster Israel's defenses, providing a billion-dollar TAD system and troops to operate it. Air defense experts say that the arrival of the interceptor system will significantly aid Tel Aviv in repelling future strikes. What can TAD do? The Terminal High Altitude Area Defense or TAD is a ground-based air defense system designed to shoot down ballistic missiles. The Wall Street Journal consulted analysts from think tanks such as RUSI and CSIS to explain how the system works. TAD typically consists of six truck-mounted launchers, each holding eight interceptors, along with a transportable radar and a fire control unit. The system requires nearly 100 soldiers to operate it. TAD is being deployed to Israel to enhance Tel Aviv's already advanced multi-layered air defense capability, which includes the Iron Dome, David Sling, and Arrow systems. These defenses, along with help from Israel's allies, successfully fended off an Iranian barrage of missiles and drones in April. However, Iran's attack in October, one of the largest missile strikes in warfare history, overwhelmed the systems in some areas. Analysts attribute this to the speed of the projectiles, most of which were Iran's most modern ballistic missiles. Faster missiles are harder to intercept. Iranian missiles, which must travel approximately 550 miles to reach Israel, have so far proven to be relatively inaccurate at such long ranges. If Israel faces more accurate and faster projectiles in future attacks, the TAD system could play a crucial role in intercepting them. In addition to missile launchers, the system includes sensors that are essential for tracking incoming threats. Analysts note that TAD's radar operates at a higher frequency than the system typically used with Israel's Arrow 3 providing an additional advantage in tracking and targeting incoming missiles. Experts also highlight the importance of additional radars when defending against massive missile barrages, like Iran's October assault. TAD, with a top range of 124 miles, will be integrated into, into Israel's existing air defense system. For comparison, Israel's Iron Dome can intercept slower and smaller targets like drones and rockets, with a range of around 43 miles. David Sling can intercept large rockets and short-range ballistic missiles, with a range of up to 186 miles, while Arrow 3 Israel's most advanced system has a range of over 600 miles. Bad defends against ballistic threats by operating at high altitudes, intercepting projectiles up to 93 miles high and functioning both inside and outside the Earth's atmosphere. This gives Thad more time to target incoming missiles and launch a secondary interceptor if necessary. Israel's Arrow 3 which operates similarly, can reach heights of up to 62 miles. Current Equipment and Limitations Despite the capabilities of Israel's aero system, some missiles still landed within the perimeter of the Nedevim Air Base in October. It's unclear how many of these missiles were deliberately ignored, as Israel generally avoids targeting projectiles headed for uninhabited areas due to the high cost of interception. Each arrow interception reportedly costs several million dollars, according to the system's manufacturer, while the U.S.'s THAAD system also comes with a steep price tag estimated at $10 million per interceptor. Despite its cost, analysts argue that THAAD offers a key advantage its interoperability with Israel's existing defenses. The system has previously been deployed in Israel during a U.S.-Israeli military exercise and now the U.S. soldiers will help operate the system in a real combat situation. Analysts suggest that this is a significant move, as it puts American service members at risk of potential future strikes from Iran, 
but at the same time, it may also serve as a deterrent to future Iranian attacks by making Israel harder to penetrate. 